Hey, what's up everybody? It's Chip here uh, again with a new tutorial. Uh, we're going to do something a little bit different today. Uh, I'm going to look at how you can create a function on the Mac OS that's very similar to, a, to another function that many of us Windows users use a lot, and that is basically the ability to right-click on a folder and create a new text document there. So, uh, why would I want to do this? Well, a lot of times I'll be browsing the web and I'll find some, some something I want to save. Uh, let's say we take this JavaScript from this date display. I'm going to command C it, minimize, go to this JavaScript folder, notice right here, new text file. So, that does not exist on the regular Mac OS. You can't create a new text file there. So, I'm going to click this and it's going to ask me for a file name. So, I'm going to call this dates.txt uh, uh, or I can just call it dates, it doesn't matter. Open oh, creates dates text text and here it is right here. So I can select this and paste it, save and quit text. So that's it. So that's really the function here. What we're looking for is right clicking on any folder and being able to add this new text file. Uh, so we use Automator to do this. Um, and uh, before I show you uh, before we actually create the script, let's talk about Automator a little bit. It's it's a tool that comes with a Mac and um, uh, it stores these files, the automation files, in a special folder called library. But if you notice, I say go, you can't find library. It's a hidden uh, uh, hidden folder. So I hold the option key down while I have the go, and now all of a sudden library shows up. Notice the option key. Yeah. So once I do that, I can click on it. Now we're in the library here, and now I can scroll down to services. Here's that new text file workflow right there. So I'm going to delete that, drag it over here. And uh, now if I double click here and click here, you notice that it's, uh, whoops, actually, uh, let's, let's give it a little time. But you'll see it's gone now. So it doesn't, doesn't you know, it, it, it didn't, it, it's no longer available. So that's because we took it out of the services folder there. So, <clears throat> so let's talk about building one. So first thing we do is we launch Automator. And we create a new. Uh, we're gonna create a new document. We're gonna call it service service. Uh, and we want to make sure that it receives before we save it or anything. Make sure it receives files or folders from the finder. Okay. Now once now once we've done this, we can save it. It'll put it in the right place. So right now we're storing it in the cloud, which is not good. So what I'm gonna do is. Uh, is I'm gonna let it store it in the cloud at first and then I'm gonna save it again. So we'll call this uh, new text file dot dot dot. Okay. So uh, that's right, replace that. So that's fine. So uh, now that we've got that, notice, notice that over here it's not here yet, right? So uh, what I wanna do is I'm gonna say file and I'm gonna hold the option key down and say save as. So I hold the option key down, save as, and I'll say again, new text file dot dot dot. Okay, and save. And now notice it shows up here. So that's a weird thing. I'm not sure exactly why that is, but that's how you get that to work. Now we're ready to actually build build our uh, uh, our our script. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to have to set the value for a variable, which is the path. So I'm going to go into here and I'm looking for a tile called set uh, value, right? So the value of variable there, just drag it in here. And we want the variable to be the path variable. So I'm going to go into variables here and look for the uh, letter P path. Just drag and drop it. Boom, Bob's your uncle. And we got it. Next, uh, we want to ask for, oops, in the, in the actions, we want to ask for text. Okay, so we're going to ask the so this basically sets the path for the folder that we clicked on. Now we're asking for the text. So we're going to say, uh, you know, name of file, and and we want to require an answer. Okay. Then we're going to set the value again. We're going to do. Uh, we're going to set another value. Set a value a variable. We'll do that again. And this time we're going to say a new variable. We're just going to call it anything we want to, which we can say is called file name. Okay. Done. So there's a file name. So we've created a new, basically, out, uh, from when we answer this text, we're going to input that into this new variable called a file name. Okay. Then we want to go, and we're going to create a, a new uh, text file using that file name. So we'll say we're going to save it as 
down here you see here's our here's our variables here swap click on this so we want to save it as this if I click in here you notice that that's that doesn't work so I'm gonna select all that delete it and just drag the file name in and then drag the path where I'm gonna put it up at the path uh, I can replace the existing files with the same name probably not a good idea so I'm gonna leave that alone uh, and now lastly once we get that done I want to open Finder items. So I'm going to basically take this, this outputs a path and we'll open up that with a default application. So there you have it. So this is kind of cool because actually if you create the file with a markdown extension, it'll open up with the markdown app too. So that's kind of neat. So let's let's uh, look at this now. So we've got this file here. It's new text. I'm going to hit I'm going to file save. Okay, we saved it. Let's go over here to JavaScript and go uh, and new text file. And notice here, it actually puts the path in here, which was really not what we want, if you can see right here. So that's, that's not what we want. So I'm going to cancel out of that. The reason for that is that we're inputting from this path into the ask for text. So I need to right-click on this ask for, ask for text and say, ignore input. Once I've done that, now if I right-click and say, okay, let's go ahead and new text file. And the name of file here is going to be, uh, let's say, uh, test. Okay, and there it is. There's test. We paste whatever we want in here. Save and quit. And we look in here. There's there's the dates. There's the test. So we have the file right there. So that's that's the script. That's where it's located right here. Uh, it's pretty cool. Works well. Um, next thing I want to do is talk a little bit about uh, uh, another feature uh, that uh, is important, and that is that sometimes. And let's let's go ahead. I'm going to show you. Uh, uh, sometimes this is this full the, the, this menu all this menu down here is under a services menu that fold, that folds out uh, basically it's a hierarchical menu that comes out over here and that's not very very good so let me show you what that what that is uh, so I'm gonna go in here and say okay So let me show you what that that looks like. So yours may will probably look, may look like this services. So new text file. So you can do that, but I want to put it all in the same one. And the way you do that is is you go to this particular page right here, hintsmicworld.com, and uh, you can see the URL right there. Uh, I'll let you look at it, uh, and then you can click on this download here button, and it opens up this thing, and you can download the file. And that file turns out is something called Services Manager. And when you open that up, <clears throat> you see all these services, but you can say the number allowed in context menu, say unlimited. Okay, and here it says running applications must be restarted for this change effect. So in order for this to work, right, so now that I've set it unlimited, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And I'm gonna... Notice it didn't change anything. So I need to restart the finder, and that's easy. I'm not, you can't really see it on the video, but I'm option clicking on the finder icon in the taskbar and I'm using the word relaunch. Okay, now that I've relaunched it, notice when I click here now, they're all they're all here. There's no longer here. So that's a real nice little uh, a nice little trick uh, to be aware of. So um, lastly I'll show you one other thing and that's in the system preferences. Under the if you want to want to view all your action all, all of your all of these automated scripts in your finder you can go to the keyboard and you go to shortcuts and you go into services and you'll see in particular under files and folder here we have the new text file right here so we can actually add a keyboard shortcut here if we want to we can also use the services to do that as well the services manager and we can disable it and enable but this is basically part of the system preferences so i hope that works good and uh, uh, i hope it's something that some of you may find valuable talk to you next time bye